Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel All About VLSI. In this video, we are going to discuss about the system function dollar changed. So in our previous videos, we have discussed about dollar rows and we have also discussed about your dollar uh, fell, dollar stable. Now in this video, we are going to discuss about dollar changed. So basically dollar changed is going to return true if the value of expression is changed in the current evaluation point and the previous evaluation point. So let us see the uh, syntax for this. So within a sequence, first let me declare a sequence. Let's say it is as SEQ. And in the sequence, I'm going to write, let's say at the rate negage of clock, at negage of clock, my dollar changed of some variable, let's say var. So this, if there is any change in the in this variable at the current evaluation point and the previous evaluation point, then it is going to return true or else it is going to return false. Let's uh, take a waveform and let's, let us try to analyze how it is working. Let me change the color. So let us uh, draw our clock signal. So let's say this is our clock pulse. And this uh, function is going to detect a change at the negative edges of the clock. So these are the negative edges of the clock. Now, and this is our variable. And let me draw one more clock pulse. So these are our negative edges of the clock. And let's say this is our variable. Uh, at this point now so this is first evaluation point sorry at the negative edges it is going to evaluate this so this is the first evaluation point second evaluation point third and uh, fourth and the fifth sixth okay so these are the, my negative edges of the clock. It is going to evaluate it. Okay. Now, so coming to the first evaluation point. Now coming to first evaluation point, the value of your variable, the value of your variable is equal to zero. And at the previous evaluation point, it is unknown. Okay. So here it is going to fail. Now at the second evaluation point, the value was equal to zero. And the previous evaluation point, it is also equal to zero. So uh, there is no change it is stable so here the output is going to get false the assertion is going to get failed and at the third evaluation point the value is equal to zero and the second evaluation point it was equal to uh, zero and the third evaluation point it was equal to one so this particular point it is going to pass and at the fourth evaluation point at the negage your value is equal to one and the previous evaluation point the value was equal to zero so here it is going to fail because there is no change and at the fifth evaluation point, the value was equal to zero. And at the fourth evaluation point, the value was equal to one. So it is going to pass. And at the sixth evaluation point, the value was equal to one. And at the fifth evaluation point, the value was equal to zero. So it is going to pass here. So this is how your dollar change to function is going to work. So that's all about this particular video. So if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel, All About VLSA. Thank you.